Hey, it's Carly Ray here, and welcome to my Hey, it's Carly Ray book club on YouTube. Today, I have a very special book review that I will be doing for you guys today. Yes, that's right, I'm back. With book reviews but before we get started you guys need to hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell to be alerted of all the new videos on my channel so without further ado the book we will be talking about on hey it's carly ray today is da 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 cotton teeth by glenn rockowitz okay this book is a non-fiction book and as you guys know i don't always gravitate towards non-fiction but this one, I'm going to have to tell you guys, even if you're like me and you do not read a ton of nonfiction, you need to make an exception and get your copy of Cotton Teeth. We are going to be chatting all about this today, and I'm going to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. But if you guys do have your copy and you have read it, go and grab it and come back and join me. And let's get started about talking about Cotton Teeth. So Cotton Teeth by Glenn Rockowitz is a nonfiction story, and it is a memoir based on Glenn's life. Now, as you guys know, I don't read too many nonfiction books, but Glenn's book definitely has me rethinking that this book was very powerful in voice, in prose, in scenes, and the way he was able to weave two time frames into one in this story. Now, the story opens up, we find out that Glenn is 28 years old at the time of this memoir where he wrote, and he it has been told he only has a few months to live. Now, he was told that when his wife was also pregnant with his son, Danny, and his son is now born. So Glenn is really carrying this big weight, like, am I going to die? Like, is the cancer going to win? Will I never get to see my son grow up? Will I never get to live that life that I always wanted to live with my wife? And then on top of all of this, he finds out that his dad is also suffering from cancer as well. And he only has a certain amount of time to live too. And what really kind of wrenches Glenn in is his dad prayed and said, you know, God, give me the cancer. I will take, you know, my, I'll take it from Glenn. But instead of taking it from Glenn, he also has cancer. So they both are struggling with cancer, having it at the same time. And we get to see their interactions and Glenn, you know, reconnecting with his dad during this time. And I will say the prose again are very powerful and the voice. I wanted to just read, um, if you guys have not read this book, I wanted to give you guys like a little glimpse of Glenn's voice. Um, so you kind of get an idea of reading it. I will just start with like the prologue because I'm not going to give anything away if you guys haven't read it. But um, Glenn starts off the prologue. He says, I get it. I usually skip the prologue too. This one might actually be worth the five minutes though. I'll even try to spice it up a little in case it winds up being the only part you read, which again, I totally get Get. You're a busy person. The bottom line is the book took me almost 10 years to write. When I read that, I was like, wow, it took him a decade to write Cotton Teeth. And I will say it definitely paid off in this book. One thing I really enjoyed is there aren't chapters in this book. Each one kind of just has a bold title. So we are taken through Glenn's life chronologically. And this one says like bathroom floor and you get to dive in and feel like you're standing right next to Glenn during this like time in his life and then it says outside an emergency room and again you're with Glenn as he walks into that emergency or walks into that doctor's doctor's office you get to like smell what a doctor's office smells like and you get the chills of like how cold it is and sitting there when you're in a doctor's office and you're scared because you don't know like if you are sick or you know that question of unknowing so I really 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 enjoyed that aspect of the book and then there are times when he he does talk about his past and the books are in you know the pages are in black in this book and that helped to divide it so it wasn't necessarily confusing when he talked about his past but I will say even when he was talking about his past he interwove those chapters where it was very natural it wasn't like a super like oh my gosh she's going back to a time in his adolescence and that was another very strong part about this book is Glenn takes us into his past when he went to summer camp and he was sexually assaulted by the counselor. And so were a lot of other kids that he was rooming with in that cabin. So that was a very powerful story that Glenn was able to capture and write about. 
I do not know how he was able to write this book in such a way and be able to reflect on his past and bring the reader, like us as readers, into his life in a way where he wasn't, he was so honest and he was so like raw in his emotions and how he wrote that it's a book that really stayed with me and I was very honored to get the chance to read this book and review it for you guys because I feel like this is a book you definitely need to read the raw emotion, the struggle, the pain, and that didn't necessarily just affect Glenn, it affected like his wife and his son and his dad and those around him. So I feel like this is a very powerful book. And again, I'm very honored to get to share that with you guys. And if you guys have not read this, even if you don't read nonfiction, I will say you definitely need to go and check out this book because it's a book that will stay with you. Now, the sentences are very short. So are the chapters um, there. I think the longest one was like six pages, which I really enjoyed. It helped make this book like go by fast. You were able to stay in the zone with Glenn. And I really enjoyed the fact that it was chronological logically set so what I mean by that is you know we start off with Glenn find not knowing like you know is the cancer back is it not back and so we get to travel with Glenn through that time of you know his suffering his pain we get to travel that time with his dad too and I'm not going to give away spoilers so I'm not going to tell you what happens with his dad or you know Glenn or you know if he was always cancer free after he wrote this book or anything like that but I will say that you are with Glenn again during that whole time. So I definitely give this book a five out of five star. I believe it's a book you need to add to your TBR list like yesterday. So if you guys don't have your copy of this book, I will say this at the end of the video, but I'm gonna say it now. The link is in the description below. You guys need to click it and go check it out. The book is about 260 pages. And in a way, I wish there was like a book too, so we could kind of see like Glenn in a different part of his life. So maybe Glenn will decide to write that. But Again, I do not know how Glenn was able to write such a heart-wrenching story about himself and actually reflect back on that time frame of like such anguish and be able to capture the truth of it and be unafraid to share that with readers. So again, definitely check out Cotton Teeth and let me know your thoughts. I Those are my thoughts. I very much enjoyed this book. And again, I was very honored to read it. So definitely let me know what you guys think because... Hey, it's Carly Rae gives it a five out of five star. Now I put this book on my social media as part of an unboxing for my book mail. And I got a ton of messages from you guys about Cotton Teeth. A lot of you guys were asking me like what it was about. If you guys had read it, you guys were commenting back and forth with me. But I also selected um, questions for today's Q&A and we are going to be talking about them. And I'm very excited to answer them. So without further ado, let's get started with today's Q&A. So the first question is from Tyler. Hi, Tyler. You said, was it hard to read with two time frames? No. Okay, I know some books that you read, you're like, oh, I cannot keep up with the two time frames. Like, and, and you can't distinguish which time frame is which, which, like I said, in this book, there are the dark pages, which represent the past tense of Glenn's life. And then the white pages are obviously present tense. And so there is that division, but it also gives you kind of like a recap in the way like each chapter flows really, really, really helped. Like it's not an abrupt halt to revert back to that time in Glenn's life. Um, so overall, I, I did not think it was hard to read the two time frames. In fact, I actually really enjoyed it. It was another reason why I definitely recommend this book. The second question is from Anna. Hi, Anna. You said, was the book dynamic? The book was very dynamic. We were able to see different times in Glenn's life that were very powerful and they were very dynamic. How Glenn was able to capture, again, that time in his life of suffering from cancer, being told it, you know, he only had a certain amount of time to live and having a newborn baby, struggling with that, also struggling with dealing with his dad suffering from cancer, knowing they only had a certain amount of time left on top of of also going back to you know that time in his life that was really hard for him to deal with in adolescence when he was sexually assaulted at summer camp was something that was very powerful and how he wrote it it was dynamic so definitely a dynamic book the third question is from Kendall hi Kendall you said how does the title relate to the story I'm not 100% sure, um, but I am going to be interviewing the author and he's going to be appearing on book hour and we will definitely find out together. I will ask him your question and see how the title 
relate to the book. So stay tuned for my answer on that. And then you guys can also click the link below and watch the interview with Glenn himself and you guys can find out the answer to that question. The next question is from Jake. He says, would you read it again? Yes, I definitely would read this again. In fact, I did skim through it a second time just because there was so much information in this book and it was so powerful. I wanted to make sure that I was able to tell you guys and relate to you guys how great of a story this book was to read. So yes, I would definitely read this book again. The next question is from Zach. Hey Zach, you said, what was your favorite part? I only can pick one. Okay, one of my favorites. So I'm going to say one of my top five favorites because I loved everything about this book. But one of the most powerful scenes I thought in this book was when Glenn himself goes to a close friend's funeral. And I don't want to give any way like any spoilers, but he says what his friend couldn't say to his family when he was alive. And I thought that scene was very powerful. How Glenn, not, he was standing up for his friend that wasn't there anymore. And he was conveying what his friend didn't have the courage to say. And in a way, I feel like it almost reflected Glenn himself when he didn't necessarily have the courage to say what needed to be said about things that happened in his past. So I found that chapter very powerful and very moving. And I really, really enjoyed that scene. And if you guys have read this book, let me know what you guys thought of that scene as well. So that concludes today's Q&A for Cotton Teeth by Glenn Rockowitz. I hope you guys enjoyed today's book review on... Con teeth again here is a close-up of this cover now if you guys have read this book again comment let me know your thoughts I'd love to hear from you guys Glenn will also be on book hour so stay tuned for that you guys can see the link for his book hour in the description below if you guys have any comments on this book if you guys have read it be sure to message me let me know I'd love to hear from you guys you guys can also get your copy if you don't have it yet from Amazon link is in the description below so go and get your copy if you don't have it yet and then let me know your thoughts I hope you guys have an awesome day and if you do not follow me already you guys can find out more on heyitscarlyray.com you guys can also join me on Instagram at heyitscarlyray or heyitscarlyraybook club you guys can follow me on twitter at hey it's carly ray you guys can also follow me on facebook on hey it's carly ray or hey it's carly ray book club and on pinterest on hey it's carly ray i'd love to chat more about books with you guys so be sure to connect with me on any social media platform and again i hope you guys have an awesome day you guys can also let me know what book you want to see next reviewed on my channel bye